Hello, today I'm going to talk through the different colours available um, that you can get for your uni pin pens and I'm going to talk you through the black, the dark grey, the light grey and the sepia. We do have a longer video going through all the different um, artistic effects that you can create with these pens but this is just a very very quick roundup um, and it's just illustrating how you can might use them on journaling. So first I'm going to talk through the black pen and I'm just going to show you the 0.5 as I say um, just because if we can you can see you can compare like with like with the different colours. Um, the black pen does is available in 11 sizes from a sorry from a 0.03 which is very very fine to a 0.8 and then a brush tip as well so there's lots and lots of different cut, um, line widths available and we do have another video on our YouTube channel talking through the, those all so I'm just going to do a very simple um, garland design so I've just thought it might be nice to do a journal journal opening page with the different colour pins and so I'm just and this is as I say this is the 0.5 I've just got a, a um, I've just made a little circle and pencil as my guide and as I said it's just really quick and I'm just going to show you the colour coverage on there as well. As I say we've got a very very long video um, describing all the different line effects that you can get with your different nib sizes and it also goes through the different artistic effects you can get through there as well so um, but this is just a quick one so this is the black and as you can see colors are very solid and it's a very very true black so there you go there's the black so now I'm going to talk through the dark gray and again I'm using the 0.5 I just want you to see and compare like with like and I thought um, one of the things that's often used in journals is arrow motifs so you can see the true colour of the grey and we'll just talk through some different arrows for your journaling and again you can I'm just sort of colouring bits in so you can compare the black with the grey Final one here, so that's the dark grey. Those are all different arrow motifs. And now I'm going to show you the light grey. So with the light grey pen, that um, I'm going to put those around the garland so you can compare with the dark grey and the and the black, so you can see what tonal ranges you can produce. So I'm just going to do some very, very light hearts around my central garland for my journal page. You can see how easy these are to, to do. And I'll just show you a very, very simple um, flower as well. So I always say this is my dancing man flower. So I'll give it a head arms and a leg, um, two arms actually, what am I talking about, and then just fill in for these little flowers, so I'm just going to do a few here, so you can see in comparison to the greys and the blacks, the dark grey and the black, there we go, and now we'll move on to our sepia. So for the sepia, I'm just going to again use a 0.5. Um, the grey, the grey tones in the sepia are available in 0.1 and 0.5. So you've got a bit of variation there. So I'm just going to just write. And you can see that it's quite a nice sepia tone. It's quite solid. I'm just going to show you how easy the pin is to write with.
So I'm going over it for a deeper colour. You don't have to, so you can just leave it as is. And you can see how easy that is. So I'm just going to, again, I'm not going to go over this so you can just see the kind of true colour. There you go, there's a very, very quick guide to your uni pin art colours.